Hey everyone, it's Kai from Cool Collectibles back again for another review. This time it's the Blitzway 5 Pro Studio Inspector Gadget. For a place to get all your collectibles, click the link in the description below to head on over to Big Bad Toy Store. They ship worldwide, so definitely check them out. Alright, when I first heard that Blitzway was making an Inspector Gadget figure, I was definitely surprised. Um, I only have heard of uh, their work in the 1-6 scale realm, um, and I've never heard of 5 Pro Studio before either. Uh, but um, if their partnership is uh, going to bring out figures of this quality um, and bringing back all of the uh, nostalgic goodness uh, from the 80s um, I'm definitely up for it uh, because this figure set is absolutely amazing um, if you, uh, you grew up in the 80s there's pretty much uh, no chance that uh, you never saw an episode or have heard of Inspector Gadget and I think Blitzway in this partnership have uh, done this character full justice Sure, they could have included more accessories, but um, if you just have a look at that, the set of accessories in this particular set, um, you can't get much better than that, really. Um, and if they release other variants uh, with more accessories, um, I'm pretty much up for that as well. Uh, I did not get the uh, deluxe version. Um, there were a couple of versions, actually. There was a version where that if you pre-ordered earlier direct from Blitzway, uh, you got a swap-out head sculpt and a, an extra thumbs up hand um, but there's also a DX set where you get a whole bunch of um, movie stands and uh, backdrops and things like that and of course the other characters in Brains, Penny and uh, the Chief now I guess um, I only stuck with Inspector Gadget because of uh, space in the collection um, and in the end I guess I'm glad because the others uh, the other figures tend to be, from what I've heard, uh, more statues than action figures. Um, and uh, I think they've put most of their effort into making this probably the, the best action figure that it can possibly be. Uh, but uh, I'll quickly go through all of the accessories and the packaging. Packaging, as you can see here, typical sort of window box art for this sort of one 12th scale type figure. Um, and you get the picture of uh, the various poses and accessories that you have um, and it is a pretty complete set of all of his best and most used uh, go-go gadgets uh, for, and on that I'll just get this guy out of the way uh, you get his umbrella um, which is really nicely done the paint application on all of the accessories um, I was actually surprised at how good the quality was you can see the sort of silver tips on the ends of the umbrella here um, it's a really nice sort of deep red paint um, you get the handle and most of the accessories as well come with uh, metal attachments uh, which is really nice in this sort of scale um, it is a little bit uh, fiddly to get attached in there and they do have warnings pretty much all the way through the instructions to not try to force things too much uh, but if you go slow uh, you can get that uh, looking pretty nicely and of course you come with the uh, hands and so on that can grasp that uh, through his hat or just uh, his standard hand and he did use this umbrella uh, quite a lot in the cartoon itself uh, it comes with his go go gadget copter um, with the blades um, separate so you pretty much just uh, everything is keyed here so you pretty much just slide those in like so on each end and then you pretty much have the top of his copter like that and uh, it looks pretty good um, and it even flies off like that um, and I think uh, you can then attach it to uh, this swap out attachment for his hat which I'll show you guys in a second um, and then you can put the handles on the side as well so I'll uh, go through that uh, when I get to the figure uh, it comes with a couple of swap out head sculpts or face plates if you want to call it that the instructions are a little bit confusing in that it implies that this head uh, the hat piece comes separate but it does not um, if I just take the head off um, it also comes with a separate neck piece that uh, you can detach uh, which you will need to do um, if you use some of the other accessories to get the face plate off you pretty much just uh, wiggle the ears and try not to sort of damage the paint. The paint application overall is really nicely done. Everything is sharp. There's no sort of color bleed. So just uh, be careful if you're trying to get your fingernails back there. Um, there's the top of the hat. 
to swap out the hat um, but if I it is a little bit tight uh, but as you can see it's starting to slide out and then you see that um, and then of course you get that smiling head uh, which I already swapped out it comes out uh, with the uh, the stoic face um, or the standard face and then uh, these eyeballs if you can gently get your fingernails underneath there and then you can pry those open and then it comes with some swap out eyeballs uh, looking to the left and right um, so you can pretty much just uh, slot them in like so and it looks like he's looking to the left um, so that's pretty ingenious way of uh, incorporating all of those features in and it comes with this other sort of semi-smiling face I think the uh, deluxe edition uh, the, or the early bird special was the uh, it's almost like a sad face I think um, but um, I guess any additional accessories is uh, appreciated but uh, this is what I got in the in my set it uh, comes with the standard base as well which uh, is nice and it comes with um, one of those sort of flight poses that uh, he might need um, I think he just slotted in one of those things there and he does have a slot up his uh, backside here if my lighting can get in there there is a hole pretty much where his butt would be um, and you can have him in the air which um, is pretty nice with uh, the go-go copter and so on and the um, springs on his feet etc uh, which I'll show in a second uh, these two are the handles for the copter uh, which I'll attach all of that uh, when I get to the figure uh, comes with an array of hands I'll just show you here. So you've got a hand here that is a little bit of a, a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver there. you got his um, telephone hand, which is nice. Uh, finger pointing um, and the sort of general holding hands. So these hands, you can sort of squeeze the flashlight in there, which is nicely painted as well. There is a warning about um, uh, scratching the paint. Um, so I might even try heating that up with a little bit of hot water just to soften it up before squeezing it in. Although I just uh, push it in there and it didn't seem too tight. Um, so that uh, worked, out, worked out pretty well actually. Um, and then of course it comes with a magnifying glass as well which uh, is actually functional um, I found. So you can, I don't know if you can sort of see that there. It actually works pretty well. Um, and then you can sort of squeeze that that looks to be a little bit tighter but uh, not too bad um, and you can hold that pretty well um, as you would expect it comes with uh, his roller skates so you can sort of um, put them under his feet there I think they sort of snap in place a little bit just to fill the gap there so there's not too much gappage and they I think they're on metal uh, rollers there or metal pins and they do spin very very freely so that's uh, an awesome bit of design there so I love the way they've done that um, it is a bit hard to get off actually and uh, I'll try and do that off, off camera um, the other accessories he's got his um, police badge which he can hold uh, if you just sort of slide that upper part in there like he's holding it uh, showing his badge off uh, which is nice so it's just a little bit of um, flexible black plastic there. Uh, comes with his GoGo -Go gadget spring legs, which are, which are actually metal springs, which is really nice sort of premium feel to it. Um, and I think what you do there is uh, the ankles here are just keyed. So you just pull that out and uh, then you just key that in like so at the top there. And then the bottom here sort of rotates around and then you can put his foot back in so I think the way they've designed that is uh, pretty nice you can um, push it all in a little bit further uh, just to secure it all in but I love the way they've done that um, and it uh, doesn't sort of spring that way but you can sort of spring it from that angle so it does look very very nice um, I don't think I've got that the wrong way around. Um, might have to double check that. Let me see. 
No, of course not, because that's the <laughs> that's the female end, that's the male end. So of course that peg goes in there. But uh, you get the idea. Uh, comes with a couple of um, neck extensions. Um, so that's why that to hold neck area can can come off. So you just uh, peg that in there, and then you can then get the rest of his head sculpt um, and peg it in like so. Obviously with his face in there, uh, but uh, you generally get the idea with that so that again is really nice and these are all sort of on uh, some sort of internal flexible wire or something like that so you can actually get it bent and moving in all sorts of directions which is uh, really good uh, comes with also the arm extensions so the arms here you know, the hands here just come off and then you can just get these arm extensions and peg that, uh, I think that just pegs in like so and then you can attach one of his hands to the other end um, and you're away to go obviously I've got it on the wrong side but uh, you get the idea um, so again you could have him with every everything extended and everything coming out of his hat as well uh, which um, these little flexible or bendable um, armature pieces and you probably do need to be a bit careful with which way you bend them um, can be attached to his which one this one I think it is so I think this is the top of the other hat extension uh, so you just plug one in that side or is it I can't remember which end it is one of these ends I think like that and then you get the other one and plug that one in the back like that and uh, bend them in the right direction uh, you get the idea but I'll uh, fix all of that up and uh, give you a, an idea on uh, what it looks like with some of these things sticking out of his hat and so on hold on so here's one example set up with uh, some of the extensions coming out of his hat there they are a little bit fiddly uh, to put in um, and I think one is meant to go in the top one and one is meant to go in the bottom hole um, and but once they're pushed in uh, pretty tight they uh, they stick in fairly well up the top there and then you can have the magnifying glass and torch there and then you have the go go gadget um, springs or whatever they're called um, down the bottom with the roller skates so you, you can put so many combinations with this thing to sort of make use of all the accessories I'll quickly go through the articulation as well while I have him here uh, the head sculpt is on like a a funny bit of a neck joint there um, and I actually got confused about which direction it was meant to be uh, going I think um, I prefer it going sort of slightly angled or curved um, concave that way as opposed to convex the other way um, but um, I guess uh, it doesn't really matter because it's hidden fairly fairly well um, through there the only minor quibble I might have is that there is a bit of gapage at the bottom as uh, you sort of articulate it but most of the time it's hidden by um, his big chin there so it's not too big a deal um, but uh, as you can see before it does have quite a great range of motion there um, so you can get lots of expressive um, poses and so on out of him the arms here they're on uh, fairly soft ratchets ratchets it's not completely friction um, so you can get his arms quite up uh, a long way there uh, not too much of a butterfly action but um, overall um, pretty good nonetheless um, the elbows are a single joint from what I can see and they're also a fairly soft ratchet there as well but uh, you get about 90 degrees which isn't too bad and then with that sort of pin um, for the hands there you get a bit of range of motion uh, that you want to use on that for those poses there so it looks pretty good the coat um, I'm glad they used a soft sort of vinyl type material it's very similar to the sort of material that um, uh, Storm uses on some of their Street Fighter figures that I've got um, and the paint application as you can see is really nice it's not just a flat grey there's sort of dark wash around the buttons and so on uh, really just to bring out the sculpt and uh, some of the details um, so they, they've done a great job there um, and it doesn't hinder the articulation too much it's got the nice split there so you can get the legs quite high up got the uh, single joint or double joint I think that's just a single jointed knee there uh, which is a bit strange I would have thought there'd be a double joint but uh, oops, just fell off there um, but uh, it's only a single joint um, but uh, not too bad you can still get uh, some decent poses out of it 
Um, the ankles on the feet here, there is a little bit, it's pegged in, uh, but there is a bit of a rotation just in the uh, foot itself. If I can, uh, let me see if I can just pull that out. Um, so it's just on a, a peg like this, um, but then yeah, there is a bit of rotation and uh, just a, a slight hint of um, ankle rocking action there. So not too much in the foot itself. Uh, both sides are exactly the same, so there's no sort of um, left and right. Um, but um, overall, it uh, does a fairly decent job of um, his feet there. Um, but uh, I might try to put on the GoGo uh, -Go Copter, um, GoGo -Go Gadget Copter, and uh, give you guys a look at how that looks, because um, I think that's probably the most fiddly to get the handlebars on. Hold on. All right, so here he is with the GoGo -Go Gadget Copter. Uh, the top part is actually just pegged in at the top in a single hole, and that's pretty easy to, to put in. Uh, what's the most fiddly part is getting these two metal pins to stick into the holes on the side uh, while you have him holding the handles at the bottom there. Uh, mine aren't even stuck in very tight at all. Um, if I move the head sculpt, they'll just spring open. Uh, so that's probably the, the most annoying factor uh, for this particular accessory. What I do like is that these handlebars have a little uh, peg at the bottom and you just uh, take that off so you can slide the hands through much easier because the uh, the width of that is actually larger than the hand itself. Uh, once you take that off, uh, it's a nice uh, design feature that uh, they allowed us to, to do that. Um, but once you get it in place like that, it does look pretty good. Um, just as long as you don't sort of move, move it around too much and have these sort of pins fly off. I don't know if anyone else has managed to uh, peg those in tightly, uh, but mine are pretty loose. But um, overall on display, no one will know anyway, and it does look pretty awesome like so. Um, I don't have his hand extensions or anything like that on, but uh, you get the idea uh, with the legs there like so. Um, I might have him uh, pegged up uh, the butt like so or something along those lines in the display um, along with my other figures. Oh, almost uh, snapped it off. Um, I didn't peg that in properly at the bottom. But um, I might uh, take a few more photos along with some of the other 80s uh, figures that I've got um, and post them up on the Facebook page, so hopefully you can head over there to have a look um, uh, this coming weekend. I'm just trying to think of what else I've missed um, articulation-wise. Um, I think... Uh, he does have a good bit of waist rotation there as well that I missed before and a little bit of, a uh, tiny little bit of ab crunch, uh, but a nice bit of back arching there as well as he's flying through the air like so. So that does look very, very nice. One annoying thing, I guess, with the legs, um, you'd have to sort of peg them in quite uh, deeply just to get them to stick. Otherwise, a bit of movement does uh, make them pop out. I'm not sure why that looks like there's a magnet in there at the tip of that piece, but uh, I'm not sure if that's a magnet or just something else, but uh, you get the idea. You can peg that in like so. But I think uh, that's pretty much it. I think I've gone through all the accessories. Uh, what with his other hat feature here with the other arms, I might uh, end up using that in the display, to be honest, with the um, magnifying glass and uh, torch and so on. Uh, but again, oh, there you go. There you see that uh, popping out. Um, but uh, this does look pretty iconic as well. So. Uh, lots of different options, um, and if you're an 80s fan, I definitely recommend uh, you click the link in the description and head over to Big Bad Toy Store to check out their order details. Uh, unless it's already sold out, it has sold out at quite a lot of retailers, so um, now that this is getting out there, I think uh, 80s fans are definitely getting on it. Um, I haven't heard anything about Blitzway releasing any more variants or anything like that, uh, but hopefully uh, collectors have uh, shown them that there is a lot of interest out there in these characters. Uh, but uh, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you can give the video a like and subscribe. Um, and stay tuned for my upcoming video review of the Storm Collectibles Honda uh, coming up in the next day or so. But until then, thanks again and I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers. Bye.